Our God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing our God cannot do. Welcome to our God Moment Time in Family Ministries. Our theme is titled Wise Hearts and Prospered Hands, uh, taken from Psalm 90, focusing mostly on verses 12 to 17 this week. This psalm was written by Moses and is the oldest recorded psalm in the book of Psalms. Moses identifies God identifies God as great and being a dwelling place, a shelter in all generations. God is great and we have a great God and we need to praise him and bring honor and glory to God's name. Moses continues by recognizing that our God is so big and we are so small. We people are limited and frail and need to rest in God. Moses then laments over the suffering and loss of his people and all the evil that has been afflicted. We today can relate to this also. Moses points out that our time here is temporary and numbered. So teach us to count our days that we may gain a wise heart. God is in control, so it's best for us to submit our will for his plan is best. May we trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding. Moses then concludes his prayer with a cry for God to save and enlighten his people. His faithfulness implies that God will provide and give reason to, for Israel to rejoice and be blessed. As Christ's followers, we have the blessed assurance and comfort that comes from knowing that God has provided us great reason to rejoice. The gift of his son Jesus Christ and bringing salvation to all who place their faith and trust in him is the best gift ever. It's an, an, it's, it's an everlasting gift. Jesus stole away the sting of death by his resurrection, rising from the dead. And we can stand firm on God's promises and stay devoted to him. When we recognize that our life here on earth is short and temporary, this should prompt us to live wisely and have our eyes fixed on Jesus, wanting to work effectively, producing fruit that helps to expand God's kingdom. In heaven, it will be glorious and it will be forever. But right now here on earth, let us choose God first and loving people, forgiving one another, encouraging one another, and serving one another. Wise hearts, prospered hands. Amen.